out of all the guides I have done, this is by far the most requested. Medieval to Total War Guilds. What are they, what do they do, and how to get them? Let's begin. So, a guild is an association of skilled people who work together in a particular field. When the guild appears, they are requesting for funds to build a house to practice their field better. In return, the city where the guild is built will reap the benefits provided from those men. If you continue to please them, the guild can upgrade to a master's guild, providing more benefits, but at a greater one-time financial cost. Eventually, you may get the opportunity to build the guild's headquarters, where all the masters of this craft from around the world will gather. Only one of these can be built in the game by all factions. Sort of like a world wonder from Civilization. Also, on the side, certain guilds you have favour with can request missions, which are great, as they often reward with gold, plus they are usually super easy to get. However, best not fail those, otherwise your score with the guild will suffer. Yes, that's right, there's a score. We'll get into that later. So, what does each guild do? Each guild provides a small benefit depending on its focus. I think it's time to talk about my source. This site here explains it all, but this is the basic video version. If you want the specific details, then that link is in the description below. But basically, as you can see, these are all the guilds. The Merchant Guild Tier 1 makes merchants better, plus one trade in that city, and may allow some additional units, depending on the faction you are playing as. As you level it up to a Master's Guild, and then maybe the Headquarters if you manage it, those numbers also go up. St. John's Chapter House, Templar's Chapter House, Teutonic Knights Chapter House, Knights of Santiago Chapter House, for example, all allow for Crusader Knights, and as it levels up, this increases experience. I won't talk about them all, otherwise we could be here all day, but you can see on your screen now what they all do. So, how do you get a guild? Well, it works by a point-based system. You need 100 points in a city for the guild to approach you with the opportunity. Then, once built, 250 points for the Master Guild, and 500 points for the Headquarters, as long as it is not already built by another AI. You score points by doing guild-related things, related to that guild's theme. Let's use the Merchant's Guild as an example. There are City Points and Global Points. City Points add a score to that specific city. Global Points add the score to all cities in your empire. Trade Rights missions pop up quite frequently. Let's say you complete three of those. That's 30 points in all cities, plus another 30 as you get points from the trade agreements themselves. Let's say you then recruit a merchant in Alexandria, that's plus 10. He then has a successful acquisition, plus 10 globally. So far, every city is at 70, but Alexandria, because they specifically got the merchant, is at 80. Let's say you then build a market in Alexandria, that puts Alexandria at 90. Recruit one merchant there for the plus 10 more points, and you hit 100. The guild will then approach you in Alexandria. There's loads of ways to score points for loads of different guilds. There's also ways to lose points as well if you are not careful. One that most people are probably interested in is the Crusader Knights guilds. Points are scored here by joining Crusades. However, interestingly, if you have a governor 
of five chivalry or more, he draws five points per turn to that settlement. So, if you really want a guild where you can get holy knights, get a general with five chivalry, keep him in a settlement for 20 turns, and it will pop up there. However, before this video does end, there's a few limitations. Once turn 25 passes, you lose one point every turn in all cities with all guilds. This seems like nothing at first, but 125 turns in, that is 100 points lost. In addition to this, each city can only build one guild. Each faction can only have one master's guild, and only one headquarters can exist per guild in a single game, so choose wisely. This suddenly becomes a very fun and interesting mechanic, I think. But there's one issue, a very common issue with the old titles, the lack of informative UI. It does not tell you your score. You have to count it over time. Imagine though, if in the settlement info tab, it just showed you there all this info and how far away from the guilds you are. That would be great. But anyway, that is all for this guide. As said, check the link in the description if you want more details on the individual guilds. There's a lot of small interesting stuff like this that many people do not know about. These guides are usually difficult to put together, so let's say if this video gets to 500 likes, I'll continue doing more and see if I can make them a weekly thing. I'm testing right now what people are interested in seeing more of, and that's a good way to get good results. Anyway, I have been Melko, and I do hope you have enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Subscribe and share for daily videos, but for now, goodbye.